goofy. Hey, YouTube, what's up? Man, we are boondocking again. Shakedown number three. Shakedown number three. We've got our solars up and totally hooked up, so we decided to come back up to the Oahe River and um, try it again with our solar panels. But it's not just the solar panel, it's all connected now. So this is so. Um, day two of being up here. And Our system is working super well. We're, we haven't even dropped below, uh, I think the lowest we got is 75% of yeah. our batteries, but we're all, we're pretty new to all that, so we're still learning. And that's um, running the diesel heater through the night and the propane heater. That's kind of been our sweet spot for mm. keeping the bus warm. She's talking about the solar system is powering the fans. Yes for the diesel heater and for the propane fireplace and for and the, the nature's head toilet. And the refrigerator. And the refrigerator. Running and, through the night. And so. it's hardly doing anything to it at all. Yeah. So I think we really sized our system really well for what we want to do. It's a little bit cooler in the back, but it's very doable. Yeah. But man, guys, it has been awesome here this morning. Oh. We found the perch for a golden eagle up on the mountain just right outside um, the bus here across the river. And then as we were having lunch, uh, we were so blessed, a golden eagle. No, a bald eagle. Or excuse me, yes, a bald eagle flew right down the river at our eye level. And uh, it was just like, we're like, wow, do you see that? Do you see that? And then he went down the river a bit and perched in a tree. So um, yeah. this Oahe River is just, it's a beautiful place to, break in the bus and get familiar with it and we're gonna just share some more of it with you guys and we've well, um, been going to the hot springs every day so I don't know how many you guys how far along you follow but part of the purpose of these skylights was to watch the stars at night and the first trip up it was cloudy and overcast but last night and the night before yeah the, the last two awesome. nights yeah, we, I, we woke up at 3 o'clock in the middle of the night, and I was so tempted to get dressed and go outside just to stargaze. But standing in front of those two skylights, we could see a lot of the sky, and it was, it was just, it was breathtaking. This is right outside of the window here in the middle of the bus. Here's the view out the front of the bus. dams right up there. When I was a kid, they used to camp down there all the time. For years and years, we had a little camp trailer that we'd pull down there and they'd let you leave it all year. And we used to swim in this river all the time. And fish.
it's sushi night. So instead of steaming the bus up with the rice cooker, we just set it outside and plug it in. So this is how we've been dealing with the cold weather. We just went and got some furniture pads um, from Harbor Freight and I sewed a sleeve. We kind of cut them to the profile of the bus and I sewed a sleeve in them. And we've got a bungee cord. So we've just kind of been bungee cording them up here to block out the extreme cold from the front of the bus. And then we use our trusty little magnets to lock down the sides. Yeah, it doesn't look the best, but it's functionable and it really, really helps keep all that cold air from um, the front of the bus coming in. This is one way that we're dealing with the cold eastern winters. Yeah, it's been getting down to 18. Yeah, yeah, so. You could freeze a half a beef up there. Yeah, it's actually quite cold in the morning. Hey, baby, what time is it? It's sushi time. <laughs> we got the rice done and All back right. in the bus. All right, and the, with the Victron stuff, I could track exactly what it did. So now that I know, I know this rice cooker goes at 850 watts for three or four minutes or maybe five minutes and then it drops down to about 80 watts and uh, anyways it took four percent of my battery bank to make the rice the way that I want it. And I have to have my rice. Chitoshi told me a life without rice is no life at all. Avocado, cucumber, and a bunch of, I mean, more ginger than any sushi chef that's watching this would be like, oh no. But and a little bit of mayonnaise. This is how much Shelly likes on Oh yeah. That's all it takes to make Shelly happy right there. Oh yes, I am a happy girl. <laughs> I usually find it necessary that I have to eat the sloppy ends because I can't put that on the plate. Unless I beat him to them. <laughs> the other thing that I love to have with our um, sushi is edamame. So we've cooked up some edamame and this is a perfect meal, man. <laughs> yeah, barbecue sauce and a sweet hot sauce. Kind of a special sauce that I make up to coat the edamame. Yeah, they're really good that way. Good morning, guys. It's um, day four on this um, epic journey that we're on, this adventure. And we actually, Randy woke up early and had water, but I just got up to get water to make some oatmeal and guess what um, our pipes are frozen <laughs> so um, we checked it's like 13 degrees outside this morning and it's almost nine o'clock so it's pretty crazy but we have the ceramic heater down in the underbase storage sawing things out we have the generator plugged in to um, charge up our solar panel because we have learned the ceramic heater does suck well, the solar energy because this Victron stuff is so uh, it tells you what's happening yeah so right now it's bringing in 2700 watts and uh, the ceramic heater only burns uh, 13 on high so the ceramic heater is using 13 of the 27 and the other 13 is both charging the batteries back but we're at 80 percent this morning I started the bus because the coolant lines go through the under bay and they'll also put off heat. So I pop the ceramic heater down there and it's running off of the inverter on 110 power. The inverter is taking the rest of that power because I started the generator in the back of the pickup and it's charging up our batteries. So we're thawing the pipes and charging the batteries at the same time. And, 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 and the bus, she started, she purred a little bit, huh? Well, it takes so, what I learned about our engine on the bus is that it has a grid heater on the top of the engine block. And so when you turn the key on, you get that little light that says wait to start. Well, in the summertime, 
you don't even notice it that the, the speedometer goes zing zing and then it's like start the bus well now it goes zing zing and the way to start light the colder it is the longer it stays on so yeah at 13 degrees without the block heater which we installed a block heater thinking we had to have one but i i don't plan to be in these conditions so. yeah this is an extreme yeah so um but it's also helping us learn and grow huh and yeah. and know what to expect so. yeah i'm learning that we're, out. we're using the propane fireplace on low and we haven't even emptied a five gallon uh container yet our bottle um, the diesel heater is taking approximately one gallon a day yeah. to keep us warm. And this is, like I said, in the morning Extreme. times, it's been around 19, but this morning it dipped down to 13. So Anyway, we just thought we'd share our morning excitement with you guys. So Operation Deep Thaw has been going for less than 10 minutes and we got water. Again. We have water! Okay guys, we're back at the shop. We had five wonderful, glorious days up on the Oahe River. Um, but we got word that a storm was coming in. So we came home yesterday and it was a good thing because right after we got home, we had about three inches of snow dump here in Ontario. So it's all melted now. Yeah, but um, we're grateful for the time we had out there and all of the lessons that we learned and yeah so everything went pretty well we had a few little bumps the solar system and everything is working but it's not it's not jumping into uh, uh, absorption and float float so I'm back in contact with uh, Battleborn again, and those guys are awesome. Yeah, shout out to Battleborn, man. They're so great. Customer they told service. Us, they told us to run the batteries down and to keep track of what happened and call them back tomorrow. So we're still getting that refined. And we actually, you had to climb up this morning and um, brush off the snow off of the solar panels so they would start working. <laughs> yeah. so that was pretty cool. We're grateful for the deck up there because that made that job quite easy. Yeah, it's so bright out here. Yeah. I can't hardly keep my eyes open. But anyway, um, just we know this one's a little bit different than our norm, but we really wanted to share our third boondocking experience with you guys and just know that we love sharing the journey with you all. And we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all. Bye. <laughs>